Hi, welcome to another episode of Atkins Diet Misconceptions by Kent Ultima. And today's episode, I'm going to touch upon a topic that a lot of people have always commented whenever I hear someone starting the Atkins Diet is, all my friends have said I'm just going to lose water weight. Is that true? And my answer is this. You know, I lost 211 pounds. Being that a, a gallon of water weighs about 8.34 pounds, did I really just lose 25.3 gallons of water? Is it Was I the equivalent of a camel? Anyhow, th today's episode, like I has to deal with, was water weight. And this is coming straight from the Atkins Exposed website, which is one of these Atkins Miss websites that try to get you to not do the Atkins diet, typically supported by PETA. I quote, to wash these top... Toxic waste products out of your system, your, our body uses a lot of water. The diuretic effect of a low-carb diet can result in people losing a gallon of water in pounds the first week. The precipitous early weight loss encourages dieters to and continue the diet even though they have lost mostly water weight. The, the state of ketosis may also be making them nauseous. If one wanted to lose simply water weight, sweating it away in a sauna may be a more healthful way. They go on. The rapid loss in initial water weight seen particularly on low-carb diets has an additional sales benefit. By the time people gain the weight back, they ha may have already told all their friends to buy the book and the cycle continues. This has been used to explain why low-carb diets have been such a cash cow for publishers in the last 140 years. As one weight loss expert notes, rapid water loss is a $33 billion diet gimmick. So, going to, is there any truth to this? Is low-carb dieting just simply a weight, water weight loss? And, and as with any big lie, the best way to get it across is to coach it in some truth. And of course, the beginning piece of the low-carb diet features a lot of weight, water weight loss as you deplete the glycogen during the induction flu period. However, once induction flu is over, which is typically symbolized by the body burning the remaining glycogen, which is two-thirds water and one-third glucose, stored glucose molecules. Once you get through that period, additionally, all the weight loss is predominantly fat. It's been shown in numerous studies that on a low-carb diet, Atkins diet in particular, that patients have lost a greater preponderance of fat than lean body mass. It's been proven over and over again in countless studies that the low carb followers has lost less lean body mass, i.e. less muscle mass, than the high carb dieter on the same amount of calories. If anything, the low carb diet has been a protection of the lean body mass than a negative on the lean body mass. There was also a study done by Duke that showed dieters of the same caloric intake lost more body fat, i.e. more fat substance, more, more adipose tissue on the low-carb dieters than on the high-carb dieters. So in the first two weeks, yes, you may be hooked on the low-carb due to the fast weight loss of the glycogen reduction. However, overall in the diet, you are indeed losing more adipose tissue, losing more of the bat, what you want to get rid of, and losing less of the stuff that you don't want to get rid of, i.e. the muscle. Well, that concludes another Atkins Diet Misconceptions. I just want to encourage everyone, get through the holidays. You guys can do this. You don't necessarily have to eat all the high-carb treats and feel negative about yourself. It's just not worth it. That concludes another episode, and if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below.